Uh, my name is Hal Urig. Craig Sonner is here with me. Uh, to this point in time, I guess most of you uh, recognize us as the attorneys for George Zimmerman. For those of you who are waiting here only in the event that he's going to show up and that's why you're here, slip on out because that's not happening. Uh, we do have what we think is a reasonably important announcement to make. I'm going to let Mr. Sonner start first. I'll do a little cleanup and then we'll be happy to entertain some of your questions. Okay? Uh we want to announce today, as of now, we are withdrawing as counsel for Mr. Zimmerman. We've lost contact with him up to this point. We've had contact every day. Um, he's gone on his own. I don't, I'm not sure what he's doing or who he's talking to, uh, but uh, he, at this point, we're, we're withdrawing as counsel. If he wants us to come back as counsel, he will contact us. Uh, we had contact as of... I believe Sunday in the last couple of days we've lost he has not returned phone calls or text messages or emails uh, leading me to believe that I can't go forward uh, speaking to the public about George Zimmerman in this case as is re as representing him because I've, I've lost contact with him at this point I still believe that he was acting in self-defense that night nothing that I've said about him or this case has changed in any way uh, I just can't proceed to represent a client who doesn't stay in contact with me let me provide a little bit more detail and context for that. Last Thursday, before Mr. Sonner and I went to New York to meet on Mr. Zimmerman's behalf with a number of national media organizations, uh, Mr. Sonner was accompanied to the bank by Mr. Zimmerman's father for the purpose of setting up a website by which people might make donations uh, in order to help support him and hopefully pay for a, a defense. We went to great lengths to make sure that that website was set up in a way that the PayPal account paid directly into an account on which his father had the control and the signature rights, not us. So there'd be no, no possibility of anyone claiming that uh, we were doing something untoward uh, about that. Uh, Mr. Zimmerman was aware that we were doing that. His father signed the cards. Uh, we left with the expectation of getting that site up in time to announce it for national media. We did, in fact, make that site's uh, name known to the national media, and it was publicized to some extent, uh, although it was, for technical reasons, didn't get posted up in time. Uh, on Sunday, we lost track of George in that he would not return our calls and we couldn't get hold of him. Uh, we had no reason at that time to believe there was anything suspect. But on Monday, we began fielding questions about, did we know anything about the I'm the real George Zimmerman or the georgezimmerman.com website? And our initial response was, well, that's probably bogus. We, George hasn't talked to us about that. Uh, we don't know about it. Uh, so we started making inquiries and frankly confirmed that he, through friends or family, had in fact set that site up uh, and it was legitimate. We immediately began telling the media, disregard the earlier website we gave you that we had set up. Go with the one that we now know that he set up. Cleaner for us. We were happy enough with that, but disturbed that he had not communicated with us. Um, we started reaching out in every way that we knew how to get him. Eventually, the two newest developments are that we learned uh, that he had called Sean Hannity of Fox News directly, not through us, and we believe, I can't confirm this, we believe that he spoke directly with Sean um, off the record, and he's not even willing to tell us what our client told him. Um, the, the final straw, if you will, or the final decision-making point uh, was today we spoke with the special prosecutor's office out of Jacksonville. Uh, 